Lubna Hussein, better known as Trouser Woman in the international media, made lots of noise this July when she was arrested in the Sudanese capital Khartoum. On a night out with her friends, she and 12 other women were charged under the criminal law for indecent dress. The public order police said Lubna was wearing trousers and her stomach was showing. In addition to the ruling Islamic Sharia law, Article 152 implemented under the current government states that any clothing causing harassment to public sentiment should be punished with 40 lashes. Refusing her punishment, Lubna asked for a lawyer and court case. Not wanting the bad press, the government released and spared her the lashes. But Lubna, a Muslim, activist and journalist, wants to challenge what she considers being a vague and discriminatory law against women. Lubna believes this article does not adhere to Islam nor the Sharia law. Instead, it gives power to the authorities to harass women as they like. But is her opinion shared by other Sudanese women? I went to find Mihera, a young Sudanese fashion designer, to find out more. Recently graduated from the College of Drama and Music in Khartoum, Mihera is now trying to change fashion consciousness in Sudan with her designs. Short boyish hair and jeans, I asked if she would go out in the street like that. No, I'm Muslim. I have to wear the I didn't see any t-shirts in her collection, however. Mihara seemed to know her limitations and was comfortable with it. Mihara's mother, also a designer, was upstairs cooking with her neighbor, Muna. She's a great woman, also. And she also designed clothes. A house full of designers. I asked them about Lubna and was surprised to see they knew little about her. Lubna was not wearing shorts or tight clothes. But it is true that she was no stranger to arrests, with previous run-ins with the government. Student revolutionary, human rights activist and widow to a famous journalist, she was under their watchful eye. Even if Lubna's case was political, the question still remains, was she able to raise awareness around women's rights and change opinions?
لا وقبل ما انا اريح الناس انا لازم يعني ربنا حيحاسبني انا ما يهمني الناس انا يهمني ربنا في الاول It is clear that the dress code is innate in the customs and religion. The law seems irrelevant, but not for Lubna and the other women who have been jailed. The vagueness of the law means that what is considered appropriate varies from case to case and is subjective to the police officer. Should the state have the right to punish you by flogging if the man deems your clothes to be harassing public sentiment? Most women will avoid putting themselves in that position, stay clear of politics, dress appropriately, and you should be fine.